Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So we've had a very stealthy patch today. It's introduced heavy armor. We've got the different colors here. It's got this nice camouflage on. I've shown you it before in one of my frigate videos, the heavy armor, but that armor actually had digital, and I like the digital camouflage a lot better. It's not any thicker than the actual blocks, but it's probably denser and can absorb more damage, but we'll actually have to see. So I'm just going to do a basic little test here with an assault rifle, and we're going to actually see, and then we'll compare it as well. So this is going to be a small ship, so just imagine. It seems to not actually take much of the damage. I mean, the actual normal armor, I'll just build us one quickly here. A uh, new ship, and if we just build it nice and small, like so, this penetrates very easy, as you can see. Very easy. That was even better than I thought. So you can see literally just bounces off the machine gun on the heavy armor but something interesting I've discovered is I know the heavy ships are actually heavier it's about five times heavier but on the lighter ships I've discovered something so you see the mass here 154 and then if we actually get into this ship over here this is a combination of heavy armor and light armor 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 sorry and if we get in this this is actually lighter 141 very strange very strange indeed but let's get on to the actual fact-finding mission that we're here for. So we've got a small ship with one rocket launcher on there. And up here we have some of the large sort of detonating cores, you could say. So this is light armor. Easily destroyed. This is heavy armor, one layer of thickness. Okay, it took probably about the same damage. And now we're going to try rockets against the heavy armor and light armor and see what the difference is. And then we'll move along and compare so first of all it is the heavy armor that's going to take the rocket from the small ship and it's made a small crater but we're going to go down and see if this one will take right so the crater is a little bit bigger on the actual smaller armor we'll move across and now this is two layers of armor thickness so this is a rocket we're firing it Right, so no penetration on two uh, layers of heavy armor, so you can just see the change in the actual patch as well to the light armor. Sorry, that's the light armor. And now the heavy armor. Okay, so it's about, it seems about the same, but the heavy armor has done better because the actual damage is less. And now we just need to try the actual cores. Right, so they are still very powerful. And now back into the ship. So we move across, we'll do the same. So this is three layers of armor. Previously, three layers of armor was a good standard for any penetration. Right, so you've still got the same amount of armor penetration. And here. Okay, something that happens quite strange there. Let's actually have a look at this. So it seems to have absorbed it a lot better, the heavy armor. The impact's a lot weaker. But let's try out this. Okay, so we're still penetrating, and we're still penetrating. So that's three layers of heavy armor that can be penetrated by the warhead. Let's go for four. So this is four. Right, so four is usually where it stops anyway. So four layers of heavy armor is where it stops. But will it penetrate four layers of light armor? Yes, it will. So one layer less of heavy armor will actually protect you that little bit more. But let's try that with the ship. So the ship's over here. We just need to get ourselves back inside and I think they've done a good job of rebalancing the rockets because at the start you could absolutely de destroy the other ships so now this is heavy armor and this is thickness level 4 there we go we got the same penetration and thickness level 4 expected I'm not gonna even bother trying that rocket so the rocket can only penetrate one layer of light armor and it barely penetrates one layer of heavy armor so now it is the warhead against, what's, it, what's this, four layers of heavy armor. Okay, so we've got probably about the same penetration. Four or five layers of armor, let me just check. No, it's done a lot better. And now light. Okay, so basically, if we're going to actually do some sort of test and make some sort of result out of this so far, let's imagine this. So one heavy armor equals two light armors that's what i would currently say it's like so if we do another one and then we build heavy armor like so 
one of these heavy armors equals two light armors. So it's five times heavier than one light. So you've got to then take consideration, do you really want this or would you rather stack and make more layers? So that's something to take consideration. So we've got some armor set up here as well, and we're going to try some kinetic energy weapons. So basically weapons that could be dropped, and I've got a few different ships here that have kinetic energy weapons. We have a, a rocket one there, and we have a rocket one there. But we'll just try this one out for the moment. We also have the big rocket ones. So kinetic energy ones are always very fun to use. Let me just hop inside. Where's the cockpit? There we go. P. And there we go. So kinetic energy released with the P button. So we just need to fly towards the target and release these. I don't. I don't think. I don't. We'll see what happens when the actual initial impact happens because I was wondering what the kinetic energy will be like. So release them. They're flying towards the target. And what's actually happened is it's actually just bounced off. The kinetic energy has not been enough to actually damage that front armor block and actually wound the warhead. So I've got an interesting concept. So previously, what happened was when I equipped this machine gun, I fired it at this, and basically it blew up. But what I'm going to try to do is put heavy armor on and see if it makes a, a difference. So we'll put that up there, and then we'll use the machine gun, and will this blow up still? No. So it's actually absorbing some of the damage rather than it going through and affecting the warheads inside. So that's very interesting. Now, we're going to try heavy armor on this. We're going to put a coat in of heavy armor, so a six, and then put that along there. So you can see the warhead's actually inside. And then we're going to go with a two. And I don't know, it doesn't seem to be, it seems to absorb the same, but a little bit different. But I mean, maybe the assault rifle is just a bit too powerful at the moment. But yeah, it's absorbing the shots and stopping that from being destroyed. So on this version, it means that we could actually probably drop these torpedoes beforehand. But let's see if we've got enough kinetic energy to actually do so. Because before, the actual kinetic energy of the torpedo was not enough to actually set off the explosives inside. So we'll try again. I'm going to release these. Torpedoes away. And now, will these explode? One did. So this means that the armor has been changed on how it exactly works. Because no longer is this compacting enough to actually destroy the warhead in itself, a chain reaction. So there's going to be a lot of things you're going to have to do. First of all, you're going to have to overhaul your ships, decide if you're, the weight is going to make up for the size and agility of the ship and so on. And then secondly, if you've got kinetic energy weapons, you're going to have to try. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.